What's up guys? Uh, this is Jeff. Um, it's been a while. I've had just a ton of stuff going on with life and family and just, it's just been kind of hard to make time and set aside to uh, film anything. But um, I have, uh, wanted, I, I have wanted to do a couple videos and I figured I would also uh, show you guys um, almost all of the baby Amazons have shed. So I'm gonna turn that off, my AC unit. Um, they've almost all shed, so they're also all looking pretty awesome. So I figured I'd show you guys uh, how they're looking. All right. Hopefully the color doesn't come out too crazy. Um, This is one here. Uh, gonna get some nice, you can kind of see the pattern coming in already, but um, I'm kind of curious. Maybe I'll, what I might do, walk with them outside real quick so you guys can see them. Let's see, what's a good background? Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Looking fabulous. So that's the first one. This is uh, just me doing the camera work here so i apologize in advance now get in the tub that's the fun part no 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 how this animal hasn't bit me already i have no idea it's coming okay nope get 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 down thank you all right on to baby number two. This is a little bicolor. It looks awesome. Just so you guys know, this is kind of how I set things up. Uh, put Cork Park in there and uh, disposable water bowls. You guys know I love them. Please don't bite me. I don't want any kisses. That is just nuts. Nuts. This is a little male. <laughs> That's insane. You guys know I love my bicolors. Eating and growing like weeds. Um, I think if it, if I have to do this for every baby, it's gonna become a long video, but oh well. It's the only thing I can do right now. Now this one little one was not produced by me. This was produced by Jeremy Turgeon. Turgeon, Turgeon, brother, you gotta tell me how to pronounce your last name because I hope I'm not doing you a disservice. Absolutely stunning. Trying to get these guys in different lighting. Just really, really awesome. This animal is going to have so much freaking white on it. This is a male too. Just really, really killer. Okay, get down, get down. Let's see. This one was not produced by me. This is a little tiger girl I've got. Um, she is, she was produced by Randy. Pe Pangies Pegging. I'm not very good with last names if you guys haven't noticed. But just a really, really awesome. This is a female. You know, I'm not big on tigers, but I do like the dirty ones. The ones with tons and tons of 
of pattern because I just like how they look, you know. Once they start to mature and they start to get that pattern starts to really creep through. So that's a female and she's a little bit older than these. That's why she's a little bit bigger. Nope. Come on, get down there. She usually lights me up too. I'm having a good day. <laughs> so this guy, he is a guy. No, this is a female. He is a patternless orange. This is the only animal I have that is a patternless orange. This one I really want to show you guys in different lights because it looks red in some lights, but it's actually just an orange patternless animal. So excuse all the tubs and stuff sitting around. I've been out cleaning and treating everything. And um, when I had those new animals came in, I went through and treated a bunch of stuff for preventamite with preventamite and it's been rainy, so I haven't really cleaned them all up yet. But this little female, she's a little chow hound. She's actually one of the biggest ones in the litter. And uh, all these guys are eating like crazy. But these are all holdbacks, by the way. I should mention that. <laughs> I, I didn't sit, tell you guys, but um, I should mention that none of them are for sale. And this is just going to be so fun on every baby. All right. Little red mamma jamma here. These are all females, by the way. This is the one that I actually had for sale and I had a hold back and the hold back I mismarked it and the people came over to my house physically and bought it. And I was like, oh crap, I had the wrong animal marked on my website. But uh, this one's doing awesome. They're all doing really well. Only one of these guys, I'm having a little, little bit of a time with the sh stuck shed and ironically, it's like my nicest bicolor. So, so that crazy one that I produced. This one is gonna have gonna be kind of a dirty calico. It's gonna have some white and some black and all kinds of stuff coming in. This is a little female too. Where are you going? Okay, time to go in your tub. Alrighty. Uh, get down there. Now these are the little, um, my little uh, Dominican red mountain boas. They're doing pretty good. They've all shed for me. They just look kind of brown. They're kind of identical right now, so I'll only take this one out, but doing really well, shedding for me, eating. Um, they're actually been a breeze. So as they uh, age, they'll get more of that red coloration. These were also produced by my buddy, Randy. But um, doing really well. Okay, there you go. Get on in there. Let's see here. I think I'll take, take this male out. He's doing awesome. This is my Branchia Type B boa. This is the male. I have a female. I've also got a larger pair that are, um, I'm actually going to take and do an update with those guys here pretty soon. They just shed as well. Everybody, almost all my, all my animals shed, but look at that tail, man. It is just insane, insane. Love it. And then all this pink and 
stuff coming in. Man, I love these boas. They are just incredible as far as color goes. They eat like they they're like garbage disposals. They'll eat anything. And they're really, really kicked back. They've just got a really, really fun demeanor. Now on the flip side of that. Don't really want to be bitten, but it'll probably happen. So I've got four of these little Brazilian rainbows produced by my buddy Trace Harden of Har Harden Herpological. They're all um, doing really well. Again, all this stuff is for my own personal collection. None of this stuff is for sale, but these are unrelated. And, uh, gosh, I'm praying they usually want to light me up. So I'm kind of shocked right now that I haven't been bit at all <laughs> through this entire video. I haven't been bit once. That's, uh, you know, count your blessings. All right. Where are you at? You're back here. Now this one's a little bit darker. A little bit darker. The first one I showed you is a male. That's a little girl there. These guys, you don't see them a ton, but they are a lot of fun. This is the other female. All these are unrelated. Beautiful. Look at that iridescence. I hope it's showing up in the camera. I've always loved these. I had them years ago and sold them. And then I got into them again, and they, um, I raised them to about two and a half years old, and then sold them then too, so. This little male's like smoking. I mean, he is so bright. Maybe I just woke them up. Now the sun's kind of creeping through. You can really see the iridescence. Isn't that just nuts? <laughs> I, can't, I mean, I, could, I just can't get over it. So cool. All right, guys. So that's going to do it. I just wanted to give you a quick little update of some of the stuff I've got hiding in my rack. All that stuff is grow outs. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and and uh, watching the videos and all the interaction is much appreciated. And um, you guys make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment if there's something you want to see or something that you want to uh, ask and I'll do my best to get back to you. You guys have a good one. Peace.